On this video, uh, Dr. Nathan is going to be demonstrating uh, administering a stomach tube or passing a stomach tube on a lamb and uh, tube feeding the lamb. So she's uh, putting the lamb between her legs and uh, restraining the animal and uh, then identifying where the esophagus will be so that you can see it. We use a rubber catheter to do it. We're drawing up some of the uh, milk or colostrum and we've cleaned up the catheter and now she's passing this gently in the back of the throat and guiding it down with the head uh, just moderately extended. Uh, you'll notice that on her left hand she's feeling where the tube will go down the esophagus and oftentimes you can identify and feel where the, the tube is going and uh, you'll be able to feel it and even see it uh, in the esophagus. It would be very rare to pass this into the windpipe, but of course that's our biggest concern. So we're guiding the catheter down to the uh, uh, end of the, of the mouth. We want to get it far enough in so that it's not at the, right at the epiglottis. And now uh, Holly is administering the milk uh, with a 60 cc syringe and gently inserting the milk. We generally administer about one ounce of milk per two pounds. So this, uh, this lamb will be getting about five ounces. And if you remember that 30 cc's is an ounce, so we use a 60 cc syringe. And most of these lambs are gonna be 10 to 12 pounds in uh, weight. So they'll get five to six ounces uh, in a feeding. So this is the second syringe full of milk that's being administered. And the tip of the syringe goes in the end of the catheter, obviously. And so that's been four ounces. And now Holly's drawing up another half of a 30 cc's and that will make the five ounces for this lamb. be administering this gently and now to take it out she puts her finger over the top of the catheter so no, none of the milk gets out and then gently slides it out. 